Hello everyone, I am back to share with you what I would deem as the slightly more intermediate to advanced tactics for managing your Google My Business account. So I wanted to start off by highlighting one of the top areas that you can participate in keeping your Google My Business listing fresh, up to date and strategic. So as you can see on my screen, I'm logged into my Google My Business listing and I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to posts. Now, posts are just what they sound like. They are like a blog or a news piece or an update. It really can take any sort of form, but you want to post something that's going to be relevant to your business and also of interest to someone who is searching for you. So as you can see here, this has been updated and posted two days ago. And so there's a couple different categories you can see at the top of your screen. You have the ability to add an offer. So if there's something that you're discounting or maybe there's a contest or two for one, you can do that. You can add an update. A lot of folks have been updating their um, policy around no contact delivery and various things going on with their business during the season. And events are also really powerful. This is something that you can make time specific it creates another block next to your listing and another really powerful way to expand your Google My Business listing. And lastly, you can add a product, photos for that, information, pricing even. It really almost becomes a little microsite if you think about all the different things you're able to do with posts on your Google My Business listing. As you can see here, there is a limitation on the amount of copy that you are able to right for each of these individual posts. If it goes longer than that, it's going to require you to go over to a website or to learn more. And so you wanna make sure that you are keeping your posts to a kind of short and succinct length. Okay, so to add a new post, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click over here on this blue icon, and you're gonna to wanna to select what type of post are you going to create. This has been updated recently, seasonally, because of the COVID-19. If you want to post something that is more general to your business, I would recommend that you use the what's new option. Again, we talked about offer could be something in terms of a discount or a special that you're running. But most of the time, you're going to want to just share some news or promote something, and you're going to use the what's new option. So you can either copy and paste directly into this location, so your copy will go here and again i mentioned that it's 750 characters and so you'll go ahead and place that in there or paste it and then you're able to add a photo so go ahead and just select something from um, you know your desktop or a local drive or if you have an album already loaded up on google you can certainly do that it's going to load it into your post take just a moment and then uh, you've got some cropping tools or you can go ahead and add a button as well. So if you have something that you're linking to your website, you might want to use learn more. Um, you can also opt for folks to go ahead and call you right there from that post, which is really cool. And you can do buy and order online. So let's just do more of a learn more. And then we're going to link it to our website. Let's see what we own. Google.com slash contact. Um, so you're going to go ahead and enter the website for uh, the place where you want folks to go ahead and learn more. That could be to your blog or it could be to a, a services page. And then you're going to hit publish. Before you publish, if you want to take a look and see the preview of what that's going to look like. Now mine's awfully short because my copy is not very long. But we've got our image, we've got our copy, and we have our learn more button. So it's really simple. You go ahead and post that and it's going to show up on the front end of the search. I see a preview. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down now. I didn't post that one. I'm just gonna show you the one that was posted two days ago. Right here, underneath, you know, we, we talked about having this great stuff up here, the map, photos, all your business information, ratings, reviews. And then in this section right here, you can go ahead and click on that post and see the content that was posted two days ago. Uh, or whenever you have most recently posted. So all the posts, you can go ahead and scroll through and just get a great idea of information, um, points about your businesses and your services that um, you don't even have to link over to the website to be able to view a, a searcher online, could be researching to feel confident about working with you. And now here they've got all this great content. 
do want to make a, a specific note here. These posts are only going to show in this location for seven days. And so you're not going to be able to count on those being there forever. You can't just post it once and um, be done. You're going to want to stay active in here and keep your posting happening on a regular basis so that it appears on the front end there whenever users are searching for you. So that's just a brief overview of posts. I'm sure you've come up with ideas about ways that you could integrate products or events. And I would highly encourage you to think about what do you have going on in your business that you could create a post about. Google looks at this and so do your customers. The way that Google looks at your content is noticing, hey, are you doing updates with a certain amount of frequency? And do I feel, I as in Google, does Google feel confident in sending traffic your way because you've been so frequently updating information and looking really active? The other thing that Google looks at in these posts are the words that you're using here. So we are looking at, at business equipment, copier printers. And so the more frequently that you can talk about things that are relevant to pe people's search, that makes Google confident about sending traffic your way. That really helps you to rise up in search results and get more exposure and more traffic. So the next area that's really key and a super powerful focus for us whenever we talk with someone about strengthening their marketing. That is this review section. Now you can take a look at all the reviews that have happened here inside your reviews tab. And you can also uh, manage your replies and the ones that you haven't replied to. So both of these are really great. Also another opportunity for uh, keywords and those search terms to make their way into this listing and for Google to understand what kind of a business are you running and what kind of search results do you want to match customers up with. So I would encourage you to not only put a big focus on getting people to leave you reviews and if you can prompt them to, you know, this is a great one right here. Uh, they're on top of all the printer, scanner and copier needs that we have. Those words right there, printer, scanner, and copier, match up with what this business is striving to uh, drive traffic for. So having those keywords in your reviews uh, are really terrific. The other way that you can boost that even further is as your business, as the business owner managing this, you can come in here and hit reply on these reviews. And that's another really great way um, to have a really rich back and forth review section. So we've looked at this on the front end during the first video or two, and this company is looking fantastic here, 4.9, 26 Google reviews. It's really important to have a high number of those and then also to keep those kind of uh, fresh and recent. You wanna make sure that they're not, you know, only from two or three years ago that you are regularly dripping out those reviews. That's something that enhances that trust between you and your customers. All right, so we've covered posts and we've covered reviews and two other ones that I'll keep a little bit shorter, but are really cool tools within this directory listing. Messaging is a really powerful tool. It allows customers to go ahead and just click a button and send you a message. Now, this is not enabled from the listing here within the directory that you'll be managing. You do need to download this app to your phone and that way the phone and the texting can be connected through your Google My Business. But how easy is that for someone to just come to your listing and be able to go ahead and get in contact with you right away? It's a really powerful way to make that connection. Last but not least, I do want to just at least take a brief look at insights. Now, graphs can sometimes be a little bit confusing and data you don't want to get overwhelmed with, um, but it is just really powerful to take a look at the effect of improving your Google My Business listing. As you can see here, just in a one month period, we have, let's see, 767, that's about 50%, of the searches that have happened in Google have been branded searches. And basically that means they're typing in words such as the company name. So Arizona Business Equipment, someone typed that in and then they were easily able to find that map, find that phone number. Uh, you have solved the search for that particular customer.
great. The other cool thing is this discovery. So that's this blue section. Customers who found this listing. So that's 687 people who were looking just for the category product or service that this business operates in. They could have been looking for copier. They could have been looking for business equipment, scanners, all those different things that are within the industry that Arizona Business Equipment operates. Now, wouldn't you like to have an increase or influence this number up to 42%? This is a great number. This is a high amount of searches that are now being exposed to this company and able to interact and potentially become leads for Arizona Business Equipment. So that is really the power of being able to enhance this, putting keywords in there, using your posts as a way to engage uh, those folks when they do land upon uh, this directory. So I just want to encourage you to take a look at that, maybe as your baseline, you know, kind of screenshot this or um, reference it after you've done some work and see if that improves and see if you're not growing. We've had some incredible testimonials of, of those numbers just really driving through the roof because, you know, like I said, this is some prime territory at the top of a Google search page. You know, once you've got your baseline, don't be afraid to, you know, push into posts and do some content, make some offers, um, keep those reviews up to date. Those are really what's going to uh, tip you far above and beyond what your competitors are doing and really increase that engagement and your conversion activity happening online. So if you have any questions, certainly feel free to reach out to us. There's a lot here and we certainly want to make sure that you're leveraging and using this for your business and taking advantage of all that exposure that's happening on Google.